Hello everybody, it's DR Drake 63 here today. And uh, today we're going to do a little side-by-side -side shooting comparison of a, a firearm I just picked up this week. This is a slightly used Ruger Vaquero. And this is in 357 Magnum. Um, this is the 4.62 inch barrel. And we're going to compare that to a firearm that uh, you've seen me shoot a little bit. I could have maybe had ready here, and that's the Taylor's Uberti Smoke Wagon Deluxe. So both of these are in 357. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do some shots both with uh, 38 Special and with 357 Magnum. The ammo we're gonna use today for comparisons: this HSM 38 Special. It's a cowboy type load. It's not super hard hitting. Easy on the pocketbook and uh, easy on the firearm. We're also going to try some 158 grain PMC 357 Magnum. Both of these firearms will be able to handle that well. Our target today is going to be taking, uh, taking shots from uh, uh, typical what we call self-defense range. We're going to be at uh, 7 yards or 21 feet and we're just seeing which one of these firearms uh, is going to make a better group and be truer to uh, to aim on bullseye. Real simple comparison. So we're going to start with the Ruger. I'm going to load these up for six. As we mentioned with the Ruger during the overview, you don't have to be in a half cock position to rotate the cylinder and load. It's simply a matter of opening the loading gate. Can't say whether I prefer that or not, but let's go take some shots. Okay, I measured my distance and actually I was at eight paces, so it's about 24 feet. And uh, my point of aim was the very center of the target and uh, six shots grouped together. Oh, I'd say the, the group there was uh, oh about two by two and a half. So a two and a half, two and a half or so inch group and uh, a little bit low and a little bit left. Now remember what that looks like. I'm going to come back and aim at the upper right quadrant with 357 Magnum using the same firearm. I'd have to say that uh, this, this firearm fires fine, sights well, uh, but let's go see what our results were. Okay, well, as you can see, um, the shots that were involved with the second six shot group were here. I feel like I did group it a little bit better, uh, and that's probably more with familiarity with the firearm uh, than it was in terms of... Uh, uh, than it was in terms of the ammunition itself, although I expect that you're going to have a little bit better accuracy out of a, a, a nice 357 load than a, a lighter 38 special load. But uh, with the exception of this flyer here, I'd say that with 357 it shot a tighter group. I suppose if I want to work on this particular uh, this particular gun, uh, I'll get it to the point where I can I can uh, find a better point of aim. What where I'm consistent is is consistently about an inch low. So we're going to post up a new target and we're going to do the same drill using the Taylor smoke wagon. Okay, we're doing the same thing again. This time we're using this Taylor smoke wagon. Again, you need the half cock and the gate open. That's how you load this one. And we're going to start with these round bullets with the flat noses, the 38 specials. And aim for center of the target. Going to be from that same eight paces distance so we're going to do everything just like we did it before and again uh, i can load six with these so let's go see what we can do
One of the things I don't know if you noticed listening to those shots, but uh, the last one was actually inadvertent. This trigger is so light that it'll shoot, it'll shoot quicker than that uh, Vaquero. Now it's important to note that this, this Taylor Smoke Wagon Deluxe has had work done on the internals, on the trigger in particular. So it's gonna be finer tuned than that Vaquero at about the same price. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the grouping is about the same as that uh, Ruger Vaquero. And uh, I, think, uh, I think our flyer is that one that you notice on the upper right hand corner. So grouping's no tighter. Uh, what's different is, is from point of aim, uh, this, this tends to be center target, center mass more. So that is worth noting. Now, I'm gonna load up the 357, and what I'm gonna do is aim at this lower quadrant right here because uh, that's uh, that looks like it gives me the best clean portion of this target and we're gonna see how it does with 357 We're gonna walk out and take a look at how we did, but uh, it's kind of a blustery day. I'm out here in the out here in the scrub. I'm shooting uh, I'm shooting a, a, a brand new, uh, at least brand new to me firearm. Guys, this sure beats working any day of the week. Okay, so if you look at the lower left quadrant here, you see six bullets, and that's the group of the day. Surrounded that guy pretty good. That's with 357, and that's with the Taylor Smoke Wagon. Now, uh, is is a lighter trigger helping with that? Is it uh, the the almost inch longer barrel? I don't know, uh, but uh, I would have to say the Taylor is a little bit easier for me to shoot. The last part of our shooting for this video, we're going to address three members of the Clanton clan. Who decided to disobey orders? We're down at the OK Corral. We're going to give them a pop. Besides, I never did like lime twist soda pop. We're going to use the Ruger Vaquero for this. Let's see if we can't get this done with three shots and save our bullets. Well, so much getting it done in three shots, I really had a hard time hitting Ike. In fact, I think Ike might have got away. <laughs> but um, I would like to say that this, uh, this Ruger Vaquero shoots just fine. I have absolutely no issues with this gun as is. Um, like I said in some of my other videos, if I'm going to get into high stakes speed cowboy shooting, I may find that I need to get some trigger work done on uh, a number of my firearms. Probably not this Taylor so much though. But uh, I'd have to say just based on a comparison between this Vaquero and this Taylor that I prefer the Uberti offering. And the reason is, is A, it's more authentic and B, this particular one has a slicked up trigger on it. So I, uh, I like that a little bit better. So does that mean I think it's a better gun than this Ruger? I don't. I think it's a more rep, uh, authentic representation of an 1873 Colt single action than the Ruger is. But I also realize that these Rugers are used in a lot more cowboy competitions uh, than these Uberties. And I think one of the big reasons is, is these guys are built very stout and they hold up. And if you're shooting for time, I imagine you're less interested in how pretty is the gun or how authentic is it as opposed to performance.